Hi, everybody. It's so, so very good to see you all today. Thank you. I'm so glad you made it. I would like to start today by saying that as a community, it is our pleasure and our privilege to celebrate each other's accomplishments. So I would ask you all to take a moment to celebrate Patricia's ordainment with me. This is her first. their seminary, of which I am a student, and if you guys are interested in that, talk to them. It's a fantastic opportunity to get to see many different perspectives of the people who keep this community going. So thank you guys for that. Great. Well, I leave you in Patricia's very capable hands, everybody. Just so everyone is aware, we are live streaming this. None of your faces are visible on that live stream, so no worries. And bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> it's actually how we came out of the context. <laughs> before we begin, before we begin, we would like to take a moment to recognize that we gather on the ancestral homeland of the Coast Salish, Lumpy, and Nooksack people. It is only through their care and stewardship that these sacred lands and watersheds that we are able to live as neighbors in this place. What we do here today, we do with most profound gratitude and respect for them. May the salmon be plentiful, and may the Salish peoples be in good health, and may they always bless it be. Bless it be. So this year we are starting to, along with acknowledging the land, also give people some opportunities to either um, become more educated about our niche neighbors or to provide opportunities for people to learn about stewardship. Uh, for example, last Sabbath at Imbolc, Joanna gave everyone a lovely opportunity to join the Walk and Reads for um, Coast Salish Plum. So thank you, Joanna. Uh, this time we are showcasing some stewardship work party opportunities with the Walk and Land Trust. Um, some upcoming dates for the spring. There are four dates we will show. So if you have any interest in that, um, I'll also leave a look on a link on the Facebook page if anyone wants to come out and do a work party with some black bear removal or salmon bed restoration, things like that. So we're just pointing that out for the next few months. And then we also wanted to call attention to the recent purchase of Cherry Point by BP. Uh, Cherry Point is a sacred area to the Lummi Nation. It was recently bought by BP. Um, and we're, there's not currently a call to action for that, but we are keeping an eye on the situation in case BP starts to build some stuff there that uh, we don't want it there. So I just want everyone to be aware that that is something that recently happened. So thank you all so much. Okay. Greetings, friends. It is a pleasure to share this spring day with you all, coming out of the long, cold, dark. It is time once again for the ember of the all in within us, for the seasons of sharing and creating. Today, today, we gather to share the joy and warmth of creating with each other for the purpose of bringing a bright and blessed spring into being. May this be the first of many opportunities that we will have this year to create art and blessings together. Now, if you would please join me in welcoming our neighbors and honored spirits who will be our guests and collaborators for this spring day. Beloved ones, listen and hear me. Come to us from the four winds 
and join us for our celebration. We bid you hail and welcome. Hail and welcome. Folk of the water, undines of the sea, beloved ones, listen and hear me. Come to us on river and rain and ocean and join us for this blessed celebration. We bid you hail and welcome. Hail and welcome. Folk of the earth, she of the land, beloved ones, listen and hear me. Come to us on rock and root and leaf and join us for this blessed celebration. We bid you hail and welcome. Hail and welcome. Folk of the ether, host of place and people, beloved ones, hear me now. Join us for today for this beloved celebration as we bid you hail and welcome. Hail and welcome. Great goddess, mask-clad mother of many faces, now that this place has been hallowed, we welcome you in with reverent joy. Be here and bear witness, lady, to the art we do in your honor. May the craft of the all-in work through our hands and words be true offerings to you, you who is first and most splendid amongst artists. Hail and welcome. Hail and welcome. Well met, gentle friends, of flesh and spirit alike. It is our pleasure to share this spring day with you in celebration of the myriad of hues with which our goddess goes now to decorate her world. The sea of colors and bloom reminds us of her gifts and her capacity for transformation. This world turns from cold winter blue and cold gray to a riot of color. Mountainsides and fields painted with all the most brilliant hues of the rainbow. Yes, the flowers are in bloom and are a promise kept and a call to action. See now how you have survived the winter to create a beautiful world of possibilities. What beautiful things might you create now that the world has thought? Today, we turn our mind to a goddess of transformation, of change, who herself was born from flowers and the warm breath of the almond. Let me tell you, friends, of the goddess Blood Iwid. Blood Iwid, she of feather and flower, of winter and spring, and above all, the ability to and freedom to dream and create the life one wishes for themselves. The ability to change your feet. Her birth 
to be the wife of a king who was often away, did not please our young goddess. She longed for more. She didn't want to get trophy. She wanted love. And love she found one day, as Lai was away, and a handsome hunter by the name of Granu wound his way by her castle. The two fell in love, but what I would knew that as long as her husband lived, she could not be free. Unwilling to remain a prisoner, a token, Blood Island and her lover plotted to kill Lai. This was no easy task on account of his godly mother. Ariane Rod had made it so Lai could not be killed during the day or night, nor indoors or outdoors, neither riding nor walking, not clothed and not naked, nor by any weapon lawfully made. He could only be killed at dusk, wrapped in a net, with one foot in a bath and one on a black goat, by a riverbank, and by a spear forged for a year during the hours when everyone was meant to be praying. Quite the predicament, no? <laughs> <laughs> but determined to win her freedom, Blood Island and Granu arranged it to be so. Alas, though struck by Granu's spear, Lai survived and, in retaliation, he cursed Blood Island to be an owl. An owl, he said, so that she would forever remember and be hated by and shunned by other birds. And to this day, many people consider owls to be ill omens. The flower-formed goddess depicted in the Mabinogi was given woolen form, but denied her divine right to freedom. When she chose, when she chose to take what was denied to her, she was punished. But Blood Island is a goddess born again and again, wilting on winter wings and being reborn again and again in the spring's blooms. Today, our task is to resurrect her. And in this circle formed by our community's hands, may we give life to the goddess and bless her with a kinder fate. Let her story be recalled and reshaped and renewed in the light of the first day of spring. Please <coughs> Join me in calling forth the gift of creation, all in, flame of making and remaking, light of life, gifted from the mother in the dark, to fill this space. Come forth, storyteller, fate spinner, magician. May the goddess speak through you and tell us this holy day of a blessed tale. Lord, be here now. Be here now. Hello, friends. Well met, my kids. Well met. A long, dark season it's been since we last came together. Then it was Mavin. Named for Mavin at Maldren, the son of the mother and another divine being come to us across the sea from Camry, the isle that we call Wales. And we came together to celebrate the turning of the season. At that time, this humble servant delivered unto you each the goddess's gifts of Allah, of dreaming and creating, of divine inspiration. I trust you have tended well to that treasured ember, and I call upon you all now to harness it today. Those who did not meet us at our last gathering, fret not, for this is a gift the goddess has endowed all of her children with, and it is always inspired to action. Rally by its familiars. Now, friends, see how you have crafted a form for our newborn goddess. What I have is made anew by your hands. Yet, this remains but a hollow doll, yet to be endowed with soul or dream, swayed by neither will nor fate. It is up to us now to grant her these aspects and to be as generous and compassionate in our gifting as the Great Mother has been in her presence. I call on you all now to bring the skies to life.
spirits of the sky whom we have welcomed here, we call upon you now to serve our lives. Gifts of air, a fresh spring breeze uplifting fragile fledgling wings. We call on you to bestow the gift of breath onto our island. Flow through her. Fill this vessel and breathe life into our spring guide. Friends, lend me your breath and your voices. Share the gifts of air with the goddess that we craft. Blow strong breath. Chant her blessed name or in holy island. Speak aloud blessings or sing a clear note of song. Do what thou wilt, but all fill your lungs now and raise your voices. To gift what I read with living breath. Listen! Hear how our goddess has received the first of our blessings. welcomed here. We call upon you now to serve our goddess. Gift of water, of cold sweet rain that nurtures sleeping seeds. We call upon you to bestow the gift of lifeblood onto our blood island. Fill this vessel, flow through her, and endow our spring goddess with life. Friends, our bodies are made up of water more than anything else, and even in our simplest gestures we mimic it. The simple sound of snapping fingers is like the falling of a raindrop. Assist me, and together we will use our bodies to mimic a storm of rain, to gift blood island with living blood. Like raindrops falling to the earth from the sky, returning to the river, flowing out to the sea. Join me and gift blood island with the powers of water. You have to do better than me, I can't stop well. Come on. Listen, hear how our goddess has received the second of our blessings. Spirits of the land whom we have welcomed here, we call upon you now to serve our goddess. Gift of earth, of deep roots, and new blossoms. Now to bestow the gift of bone and body onto our blood island. Flow through this vessel, fill her body with strength and substance, and bring life to our spring goddess. Friend, place a hand to your heart. Feel the strong, steady pulse we find here. Take that rhythm and share the gifts of earth with the goddess that we craft. Clap your hands. Stomp your feet or pound your chest to the rhythm that you find there. Each our spring goddess, the first sound we all learn, cradled in the womb. Work with me now, friends, and grab our goddess. blessings necessary for life. There is but one gift left for us to give. That is that which inspires and animates us. The power to dream and create. The power to choose. When you first arrived here, you gifted our what I would with ribbons and flowers, tokens of beauty and affection. My final task for you is a simple but crucial one. Focus on that which you can Perhaps you train on it. Call it to your mind. As we have transformed a hollow doll into a living goddess, 
I ask you now to transform that simple token into a blessing of the Allah. Speak or think the blessings you wish to bestow. What do you hope for yourself or for the year to come? Is it luck, health, love, friendship, or adventure? Is there some new skill you hope to learn or some challenge you mean to overcome? Share them with her now. Let these wishes, these aspirations become her own. For as she comes to life with our gifts, so too does she come into her right as a goddess of this year. And she may bless you in return. For my part, blood I went, I wish for you that your wings never be a curse, but a blessing. May they carry you like dandelion seeds to all the corners of the waking world. May you find a warm and welcoming roost wherever you go. And may you carry it to Friends, like us, our goddess requires sunlight, flowing air, and connection to the earth to thrive. All rise now who are willing and able, and we will take our newborn goddess into the light for the first time. And when we are done here today, she will find permanent residence for one year and one day in some beautiful place near here. You may yet encounter her again. And if you do, I ask only that you give and receive renewed blessings. Celebrate her life as we celebrate this spring day. Come with me. <laughs> 